So probably the biggest game of the season in people's eyes around the league. We've come away 3-1 winners today. We thoroughly deserved that in my eyes. Yeah, I think, Graham. obviously after Tuesday night, the boys were a bit disappointed. It was a long journey to Limavati. But we knew we had to pick ourselves up again um, and go and training on Thursday night. And we were coming down here. We we were confident enough that we were going to perform. And I think from the very first minute, we, we set our stall out that we were going to perform. We weren't going to sit in and see what they were going to do. So we played our own game and, and went at them from the start. And, and obviously we got a, a very quick response in the first minute or two minutes, whatever it was, for the first goal. So we were able to build on that and got in at half time. But... Uh, I thought the boys were fantastic. It was a fantastic shift. They a man all over the park. They they battled hard, and some of them were out in their feet, and and they've every right to be out in their feet. The shift they put in. As you say, we went in two 0 up. Probably we knew second half was going to be at least the start of it. Put it down. We're going to come back at us. We did concede one, but a fantastic save. And then we got the third important goal. Yeah, I think obviously when when you look here at the pitch, it doesn't. It, it seems like the hill seems a lot more than what it is and obviously we were defending up that in the second half so um, we knew Portadown were going to have to come at us I mean there's quality players there all over the park but to be fair to the guys we had one wee lack of concentration and they got a goal uh, and luckily Big Lewis pulled one out of the top corner from the free kick and that and that set the stall it's still a 2-1 so I thought Anto probably should have scored very unselfish from D to square it to him and he hit the post and then obviously JJ cuts through, going to score and gets a penalty so a bit of nerve from Andy to, to actually step up and hit it so I think the guys deserved the 3-1 win and that's you know, the way the match went in my opinion And I probably have full time now you heard the Portadown fans booing Portadown coming off Do you think that's unfair in the league where Portadown and other people think Portadown are the best team when we're sitting top of the league and some other teams down there were good quality within their side? I think the problem is with Portadown they're on that pedestal is, and I not, not, don't want to talk about any other club but probably every other team wants to beat them and I mean Dundella had years of that in the old B division where everybody raised their game to play Porta Down. I mean they're a big club as you can see with the surroundings and the settings here but at the same time I can only concentrate on Dundella and I mean it's our guys are fucking loving that walk coming across the pitch and, and the Dundella board and supporters what numbers there is there are, are applauding them off the pitch and there's actually Porta Down guys there as well who are complimenting Dundella for their performance so that's the way the league is it's entirely competitive and and there's, and there's quality all around the league in, in all teams. So it's it's very competitive and you see the amount of Irish League players on display there the day who've played there or else could play there or are wanting to play there. So I think it's, it speaks highly of the championship and that's and that's how nip and tuck it is. And finally, last game on the road is on Tuesday night against Carrick. Premiership outfit, but the lads must go in there with a bit of confidence. They can go in there, top of the league in the championship and just go and enjoy the night. I think, yeah, I mean, I said last Saturday there's, there's probably guys can't play Saturday, Tuesday in our squad and, and, there, and there is and um, and obviously on this pitch it's probably different from last week, it was heavier but we'll we'll address things on Monday again and we'll see, I mean it's a quarter final of County Antrim Shield we'll, we'll be certainly wanting to progress and we'll go on Tuesday night, I mean it's been a hell of a couple of weeks for the guys I mean, away to Institute, away to Limavati on a Tuesday night, don't know what time some of the boys were getting home and then we're, we're away today again and then away on Tuesday night to Carrick. But listen, the boys are they're happy enough. They prefer that rather than training. So we'll go on Tuesday night and we'll give it our best shot. Thank you very much, Mel. Well